Yeah, thank you everyone for your questions and for coming and for your openness to to listen to what we are sharing here from our own direct experience of this simple practice that we were uh, introduced in the Balanced View training. The simple practice of taking one short moment of open intelligence repeated many times whenever we naturally remember to do so. And this simple practice, with that simple practice we honor in each moment the potency and the capacity that we have as human beings. The potency and capacity as human beings to be of complete benefit to ourselves and others. That is completely natural to us. Completely. And with the, this short moment of and identifying open intelligence within our experience, we honor that completely. One short moment, and we can introduce ourselves to open intelligence by just stopping thinking for a moment. We all have all our thoughts going on and then we just stop for a moment and see what is left when we stop for a spl split second. We see that there's something about us always alert, always present, always there. Open intelligence, always present. And that's what we identify in each short moment, that there's something about us that is always stable and always present, right here, right now. And that's what we rely on, open intelligence, for a short moment. And then we see lots of thoughts are coming in. We always, I mean, I had such a busy mind with thoughts and emotions and all kinds of things coming up. And just to recognize for a split short moment, that open intelligence is shining through all of my thoughts, emotions, sensations, that they are in fact inseparable of open intelligence. So it doesn't mean that I always need to stop thinking, that is just the introduction to open intelligence. But what we see is that all, all our data, so all our thoughts, emotions and sensations are inseparable from that vastness of open intelligence. So instead of relying on all our data, all our thoughts, emotions, sensations and experience to inform our actions or how we describe the world. Instead we choose to rely on open intelligence, the basis of it all, the ground of knowing. That intelligence that is wide open and naturally knows what will be of most benefit. Knows in every moment what will be of most benefit for myself and others. And isn't distracted by all the thoughts that come up, or all the emotions that come up. These emotions and all these data, these we let be as it is. So we don't give that energy anymore to describing or analyzing or whatever you were used to doing with your data. I was completely analyzing all of it. I put all my energy into that. So if, if there was an immediate action to be taken, I had so much energy into trying to arrange and see how I can be comfortable in a circumstance that I, I didn't often know how to act and how to be, because all my energy went into that. But now, when allowing all my data to be as they are, not needing to give them any focus or attention or energy, then I can see completely in every circumstance what will be the most beneficial action, and I can take it immediately also, because I'm not distracted by all the things that are going on. I can see clearly, because and, and, and that, that was so powerful for me to see that it is not, um, that, that it doesn't mean that we are not doing, uh, not doing anything anymore, not taking action, or, you know, nothing at all. It, in contrary, we have so much more power and availability to be of benefit, to serve what is needed in each circumstance. Well, that is incredible. Just by simply allowing all our data to be as they are, without needing to to do anything with them, n not needing to push them away or um, try to get better data or all these mechanisms and strategies that we try to or that we used to use to try to feel more comfortable or try to feel like making more sense out of the world, we can totally relax those. From that ease of being, we can completely take action for the benefit of all. And not only that, we see clearly what is needed. We have the balanced view, seeing clearly from the top of the mountain, we see clearly what is needed in the circumstances that we are in, or the world is in. 
And I totally agree. There are so many things in the world that needs to be changed. So many things. I mean, we just need to look around us and we see so many things that we, like, where our heart just hurts how people treat each other or, I mean, all the kinds of things. And, and I see so, this is, and, and I see that this is my complete motivation to share this training because I see completely that with this, this um, education of the nature of mind, there are things possible I never thought possible for human beings. That's the way where we can see how we can relate with each other in the most beneficial way, harmonious and empowering way. That is why I, 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 my whole heart is so um, for, this, for sharing this, this training and I want it for everyone because I can see the peace within myself, the peace within my relationships in relating and I can see it not only for myself, I can see it for this whole group of people taking responsibility for their data and relying on open intelligence. And then I can see, wow, what is possible for a group of people is also possible for the world. Seeing solutions rather than focusing on problems. Finding peace within all our experiences. That's, that's just amazing. And, and, and that's where we really see the power of, of this training the complete power that we have, that we are all responsible. I mean, I mean, it's all up to us. We can just choose if we want to rely on our power and empower ourselves, or we, if we want to rely on our data. For me, relying on my data was so disempowering and neutralizing all the power that I had. I feel now that I completely more and more get stable and, and more and more I can contribute to the world just by relying on and making that simple choice and how do I want to ch live my life? How do I want to use that beneficial energy that is available for everyone to use in the most beneficial way? And that choice is really up to everyone and, and that is also the beauty that I find in the relying on the Four Mainstays, which is our support structure in Balanced View. The support structure of taking short moments whenever we remember to do so, the trainer, everybody can have access who wants to have a trainer to clarify all the data and to empower ourselves in every moment. Then we have all the trainings that <clears throat> were also mentioned and are available for everyone to really empower and train up that beneficial potency. And then the community, just a whole group of people relying on open intelligence and demonstrating to each other what is possible for ourselves and the world. And th these are, is the support structure of um, Balanced View, and it's so wide open, so many people can just completely choose how, how much they want to involve themselves, or how little they want to involve themselves. And, and, and for me, basically, it's my decision how far do I want to take it in my life. Do I want to stop at emotional st stability, mental and emotional stability, because that is the starting point when we come to um, balanced view trainings. That is our guarantee that we just receive. Uh, total um, stability mentally and emotionally. Or do I want to take it further? Do I want to really, um, really t um, step into the power of, of wanting to be of most benefit and seeing all my strengths, gifts and talents just flower more and more? So if I want that, then I go completely into the Four Mainstays because it works. I see it in, in myself and I see it in other people. So that was that choice. 